IAQ Clarified, brought to you by the Indoor Air Quality Association, provides helpful consumer-focused tips on indoor air quality topics. Here is another tip from IAQA training provider, Ian Cull. Hi, this is Ian Cull bringing you an IAQA tech tip on mold and walls, part one. If your walls are made out of gypsum board, also known as drywall, you may be wondering if you have mold growth on the inside of the wall where you can't see it. Perhaps you've had a water leak or you sense some dampness in the wall. How can you determine if there's mold in the wall? In this video, I'll cover approaches that can be used by a non-professional. In part two, I'll describe methods that involve professional equipment. And in part three, I'll describe methods that involve laboratory sampling. Okay, the first approach for a layperson to determine if there's mold inside the wall is to cut a large hole in the drywall with a drywall saw and take a look inside. This is probably one of the most definitive ways of determining if there's mold in the wall. The drawbacks to this method include having a huge hole in your wall that must be patched if you don't find mold. If you do find mold, you'll likely be tearing out the drywall anyways. Another drawback is that using a drywall saw can damage mechanical, electrical, or plumbing systems if you unknowingly cut through them. Be sure to have some plastic sheeting ready to cover that hole. The second approach is to sniff around electrical outlets. When mold is actively growing, it produces microbial volatile organic compounds, which are the musty, earthy odors associated with damp environments. Electrical outlets and other openings give you more direct access to the odors inside walls. If you smell a musty odor at the electrical outlet, there's a good chance that there is mold in the nearby wall. The drawback to this method is that there may not be an electrical outlet right at the spot you suspect mold. Also, sniffing around can't really determine the extent of the problem. Is there just a little mold right at the outlet or a whole lot of mold but far away from the outlet? If you want to try methods other than cutting large holes and sniffing around openings, stay tuned for part two and three of this series. If you would like a professional to evaluate your property for mold or hire a contractor once found, consider hiring a member of the Indoor Air Quality Association. Visit the IAQA website for a member listing.